together at the Bar Real Electric. And remember, all the listeners call in. We're going to be giving away tickets in a little while. I'm going to open up the lines. You are both going to be on stage together tomorrow night at the Bar Real Electric, backed by Derek Barnett and the. Uh, uh,
So this is going to be a quick, um, this is going to be a quick class um, on harmonic patterns. I'm not really go. I'm not really going to focus too much, but I'm just going to give you some potential trade setups. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to give you. So the ones that just popped on, I'm not really going to focus too much on harmonic patterns, but I am going to show you some trade setups with those. Um, it's Saturday. It's 5 p.m. LSU and Alabama is playing. I don't really want to see that game, <laughs> so. I'm not going to keep you on here too long, right? I know your your Saturdays are valuable. Uh, so give it about three more minutes, and then we'll, um, we'll start this harmonic class, right?
All right, give me about one more minute. It is cold. It is cold. It is cold. All right. Let's start. Let me get my charts up and we will start this class. I decided to be outside today. So bear with me. Bear with me. All right. One second, guys. I am trying to pull up my charts. Give me a second. Shante. Okay. 
Okay. At first, I thought I was logged out of the account. All right. Let me, <laughs> bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. I was like, something is tripping. So the reason I'm trying to load my charts, um, I had some harmonic patterns already drew up for y'all. And for some reason, uh, my chart decided to delete them. So uh, just, just bear with me for a few more minutes, okay? Perfect. All right, here we go. Okay, perfect. All right, here you go. I'm about to share my screen. All right, here we go. Let me know if y'all can see uh, this pair because, again, every time I try to show somebody something, it seems like everything goes the opposite way. So. so this pair is, uh, don't worry about this TDI. I don't know why I have it on here. I have already drew these up for y'all. Um, um, so the pairs I'm going to be focusing on: GBP USD, Euro USD, Litcoin versus Bitcoin, um, Neo USD, which is like a Neo, like which is like a uh, uh, a smaller currency, cryptocurrency. Um, gold US thirty, SPX five hundred. AUS 200, AUDU USD, NZD JPY, uh, Euro NZD, Euro CAD, CHF JPY, AUD CAD, and G Chief, GP CHF. So, as you know, I was telling the people earlier, it's cold out here. Um, so, the football game is on. It's a Saturday, and it's Florida, not Florida, but LSU versus Alabama. So, we're going to cut this a little bit short, right? But I'm just going to give you some potential. Uh, trade setups um, coming into uh, so Monday is a holiday so you still can trade Monday but just be careful um, so Tuesday so going into the trading week on next Tuesday okay so let's look at GBP USD all right uh, let's minimize that GBP or Euro USD. Okay, well, never mind then. So we can look at Euro USD actually. So what Euro USD is forming a what pattern is it forming? All right. Yes, when I drew drew these out, I set up I set these up to send me notifications on mine. I don't know how to do it. I, I don't even know how I even stumbled across this. Um, let's see. Your USD. Where is the chart? Okay. Give me one second. All right. GU. So let's look at, let's focus on GU right now. I'm just going to do some uh, regular support and resistance, right? So yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. 
So let's focus on this point right up in here. So with GU, um, I don't know if y'all, can y'all put like yes in the chat if you look at Forex Factory um, for the news? I don't know. Because if y'all do, then I can explain further. I saw you do. Okay, perfect. So if you look at the news, um, do y'all know how to trade the news, right? Were y'all on my class this morning in 3030? If not, no? Okay, no. Okay. Um, so with news, you... Um, so I'm just going to go over it just a little bit. So actual greater than is a buy, right? If I explain, explain this to y'all, y'all won't know. So let me just go to... Um, let me go... I'm just gonna to go to the site, that way I can actually show y'all uh, what you missed uh, for Dirty 30. Um, yeah. Uh, bear with me. Okay, Forex Factory. I'm not really gonna go in depth because that was uh, this afternoon's class, which is around 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I'm just gonna kinda of uh, tread water with this. So um, here we go. I'm telling you, I'm sorry if I'm shaking. I just wanted to enjoy outside today and all of a sudden temperature changed. All right, so most, so if you know what the red folders is high impact, uh, orange folder is medium, yellow folder is um, low impact. So if there are like four or five yellow impact folders. Um, if there are more than one happening at the same time, which such as the JB, JPY pairs, then they are going to move the market. But if there's just one yellow folder, it's not really going to move the market, right? So if you go into the, into the um, detail box to the right of it, you'll see um, usual effect. So what you need to pay attention to is the usual effect and why traders care, right? But really what most people uh, just look at is the, you know, the usual effect. So more hawkish is good for currency. So um, so the reason I wanted to tell you this is most of GBP pairs this or well, next week are bullish, meaning that actual greater than means a buy, more hawkish means a buy. Some of you have already heard. So um so when you go to um, GBP, right? We're not seeing the forex the screen. Follow you. You're not. So what's okay? Let's see. Share. Can y'all see it now? Let me know. <clears throat> yes. Okay. All right. Did everyone not see it earlier when I was going through it, or or what? No? Okay. So, uh, like I was saying earlier, um, look for these. So, go into each folder, right? And then you look at the usual effect. More hawkish uh, means uh, bullish. Think of a hawk. A hawk flies in the air all the way to the top. So, I mean, it's really simple when you're looking at the news. Um, yeah. So, look at the news to figure out where the market is really going. Like I was saying, most of the GBP pairs next week are bullish. Um, they are bullish. So, but we're expecting a drop for GBP. I just don't know when that drop is going to happen. So that's why we're analyzing it now, right? So let's go to this right here. All right. Can you all see my gray screen? Perfect. I think so. All right. Um, yeah, so on the GBP pair, um, it is forming a pattern, which is a bat pattern, but for some reason it is not pulling up. Okay, yeah, Euro USD obviously pulls up. Yes, it's news related. It is news related. Um, 
I'm not going to go through every pair. So I'm going to tell you this. When you so go to Forex Factory, no, not Brexit. Um, I'm not. I don't. Brexit was over with, I believe, two weeks ago, actually. But it all GBP pairs are news related. Um, most of the pairs are actual greater than or more hawkish, and what that means is a buy in the market, right? That the market is going to move into an uptrend, not a downtrend. But if you look at this, right, you can noticeably see that GBP is ready for that sale, even though the news says otherwise. So expect GBP to retrace. Um, yeah, expect GBP to retrace. So let's mark it up even, of them, even more, right? So let's do this, right? So let's actually, let me delete that. And let's, let's move it up. Right, move up something like that. Not too perfect, but it worked. Right. Yeah. And I'm gonna show y'all what I mean in a minute. The um the the uh, pattern it's forming. Sometimes I, I hate drawing this thing. I really do. All right. Let's see what we can do. Delete all arrows. My tr uh, trading view isn't working uh, properly right now for some reason, but it's forming an M. And what an M is, I'll just have to go old school with y'all, all right? Since everything decides to, you know, not work today. So what you can see in GBP, I'm gonna just draw it out, right? So this, this is what you can see going to that downtrend. Do you see it? Right. This is what GBP should be doing, right? Should be doing. But, you know, you have to be patient with the market, right? You have to be patient. So, GBP is going to sell. Um, it's go of course, it's going to pull back. So, what it c could possibly do is if you look, if you would look at these, uh, these moves right here, right? So just be cognizant of, you know, that move right there, pull back, right? Pull back, uh, we'll put it right here, right? And this is where, and the yellow line is where price is at currently, even though the market is closed, okay? Pull back right here, right? So expect GBP to kind of make a move like this right here, right? Expect it to make a move similar to this over here, right? This uptrend. So what it could do, it could get right here, pull back, right? It could go to the uh, 80 or high, and then it could possibly go all the way down right here, right? Because you can see that M is forming and it's getting ready uh, for that drop. Right, so let's look at uh, let's look at Euro USD. All right, boom. Here is a pattern I drew up. Uh, I believe it was yesterday. Yeah, I drew these yesterday. So with these patterns, you you kind of have to you know be cognizant. So I also drew up a box as well because. Uh, the reason I did this was because looking to the left of the um, of the prize, right? If I can, give me a 
second. Here's the list. This is mine. This is the out of the way. All right, cool. So, looking at Euro USD on the four hour. Um, and I'm going to go on, you know, smaller time frames as well. So the reason I put that box was because this pattern is signifying a buy because what it does is it creates that M, you know, something similar to this. Can I get this out of the way? What is that? HUD properties. Yeah, something, something similar to that, right? That's where you can see uh, Euro USD going into that buy uh, next week, right? And if we go even farther, we can put you know, trend line right down here, right? Something along those lines, right? Bouncing off of the 1.10190, okay? So expect Euro USD to um bye next week all right so gbp down euro usd down let's go to oh you can also yeah i've done this so if you extend it right it had changed just a little bit um so if i would get rid of all these lines going everywhere i can actually show you okay you go to objects list Get these lines out of the way. Trend line, trend line. Well, if they ever get off. Anyway, so this is on the 15 minute, right? It is a bullish Gartley, right? So expect USD to continue, not continue, but retrace going into that buy, right? It is going to be, there is going to be a pullback, but just kind of uh, be cognizant of it, right? To get all arrows. I wish I can delete all this stuff. Turn on properties, delete, delete, delete. Yeah. All right, let's look at uh, AUD USD, right? Let's look at that. Because that is, these are the pairs that I know. Actually, let's look at AUD cat first before we jump jump into that. So it looks like AUD cat is already on its move, um, going into a sell. Um, right. So let's put some resistance, support and resistance. Okay. All right. I hope y'all are writing this down because. I probably won't remember. <laughs> so, I don't know if y'all have, um, can we get a little more volume, please? Oh, y'all can't hear me? I'm sorry about that. Give me a second. All right. All right. Sorry about that. Um, so, um, sorry about that, y'all. Sorry. Um, can y'all hear me now? Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so for AUD CAD, right? So these work on the hour chart. Hearing better than that. Perfect. So these work better on the hour chart. But, I mean, actually, they work better on any time frame. But if you don't want to stay in a... Because I, re I really like these um, when I swing trade. Because... Who doesn't like the swing trade, right? But people like to scalp more, and I also like to scalp as well. So you can do this on the hour chart as well, right? And it always goes 
Of course, if you extend it to us, you know, the times look a little different, right? But you have all of this, right? You have all of this. This down here, this down here, right? All of this to watch out for, right? That's what you have to watch out for because I call this a dead zone. This is dead space. All of this is dead space. And what the market has to do, it has to fill that void. All this. So you see all of this consolidation going on right now. Right? You see all of that consolidation. So with AUD CAT, just watch out for it because it's getting ready for that sale. It's bearish. It's the name bearish back, right? Um I had GU on here, but not. GU was supposed to form a um, pattern, but I don't know what's going on with GU. I don't know. But GU as well has the same bearish uh, back. All right, let's look at AUD USD, like I was saying. I have so many pairs over here. I don't even know which ones are, are which. I tell you, I just wake up at 2 a.m. and I just start marking up charts. I, this is one of those days. That's exactly how I do it. A W pattern? Uh, let me look. I'm telling you, I, you have to remind me of these things because I do not read, you know. AUD cat. Yes, it's just like a W. So if you know what a W is, you know, well, actually it's more like a uh yeah even even on the day right you can go to the day but let's look at the four hour right right this w so expect it to um drop right around here right? so expect it to you know this could be like your this could be like your London payout, right? You got take profit one, take profit two, right? And then you got your take profit three, right? And then your stop loss would be right above, you know, right above here, right? Uh, yeah. Let's say that you take your stop loss right above here. So you're risking this much versus all of this, right? And if you pull back, um, you know, you see it, you know, you see it better this way when you look at the higher time frames, and then what you do is you just break it down um, from you know from month, week, day, four hour, hour, fifteen minute, and so on and so forth. Right? That's how. That is, I'm telling you exactly how I trade. Right? People would be like, "Yeah, there are secrets to the market. This, that. There's no secrets." Now, well, they might be. I don't know. They might. But uh, what I like to do is I like to break it down. So. If it looks like a sale on this time frame, let's look and see if it looks like a sale on the other ones, right? Oh, too much. All right, see, kind of see that pattern. Uh, let's go to the 15 minute as well. Um, still see that pattern, right? There is consolidation, but uh, obviously it's not going to, you know, go completely straight down vertical. I mean, that's, you want to see it happen something like this, right? Which it could very well happen something like this. But most of the time, you will see it happening something like this, where it gradually goes up or it gradually goes down, right? I love spikes in the market. That's where money is being made. That's where banks are trading, and that is where high investors are in the market. Not to tell you that we are all uh, stakeholders, right? We all have a say in the market, whether we're retail traders or not. Our, um, yeah, people say that our positions don't matter. Yeah, when you have a million day traders trading in the market, trust me, we make a difference. We make a difference. All right, so that's AUD CAT. Um, um, but yes, yeah, forming a W pattern, you could say that, yeah. I mean, that's how I see it. Like, you don't even have to, like, know these harmonic patterns. You can, because what they are, they're just regular M's and W's, but some smart guy decided to call it a harmonic pattern, right? You can call it a W, 
If it looks like a W, then most definitely, yeah, or an M. Uh, did I say gold or I say AUD USD? Did I go over AUD USD yet? I don't think I have, right? Um, I don't think I did go over AUD USD. I don't even know if I even have that pair over here. Actually, yes, I do. Perfect. So let's look at it. What was that noise? All right. I'm giving you this now. Don't trade these. Do not trade these. If you see something in the market like this, don't have, do not just don't trade it. Because what this is is a butterfly. We do not like butterflies. The only time you see that it did catch it, right? It did catch that buy, the impulse moving to buy. So that's ours. So that was how many pips was that? I'm sure we can calculate pips on here. I mean. I mean, somebody help me out. Right. That was where we at? AUD USD, one of these funny, funny pairs. Look at those pips, right? All those pips were, were caught in this bullish butterfly, right? Not a perfect pattern. I kind of messed up right above here. Uh, when I was doing it, I meant to put it right at the tip of this, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah. And the reason I, and the reason this box is here is just letting you know that it could possibly pull down further, right? It's just a, I just, put, the box is just kind of like a support uh, system, uh, right? It could possibly pull way down here, you know, something like that, right? Right. All right. Let's look at um, I did a lot of the pairs. I didn't I didn't notice. I didn't realize. Let's look at gold. No. Yeah. No. Silver. Let's look at silver. Nobody talks about silver. Nobody talks about gold. And then let's look at gold as well. Did I drop anything for a second? Yeah, I did. Boom. Here we have. Um, wait, what do we have here? <laughs> what do we have here? Let me look. We have a what is this? Bullish butterfly. All right, so um yeah, gold support. I don't know what happened to gold. I heard people you know, get in the trade for a buy, and all of a sudden it just shot down. I was like, "What?" I don't know what to tell you. I just, I just don't know what to tell you. So with gold, mm, so expect. Where can we so where where can we see gold going? Oh, also, you can add your input too. Um, if you want to look, you know. I tried to choose a pairs that most people are likely to, you know, trade. But if you have a pair that you want to specifically go over, then then by all, all means, we'll go over. So with gold or silver, yeah, silver, right? Silver. So expect it to go into a buy. I'm not going to tell you to, you know, it's going to go into buy. So, but just be on the lookout that, you know, could possibly uh, turn around and go into a buy with this. But, you know, it's kind of tricky because, you know, um, I've done this before the market was finished. So you just how you just have to kind of um, um, be aware, right? Because the market, when it opens, is you know, news happens over the weekend that we might not be aware of, and you just have to be cognizant. All right, let's look, uh, let's look at gold. Let's look at gold. What? Well, oh, matter of fact, did y'all know that gold and silver are almost kind of the same? I mean, obviously, gold. If you look at the price of gold and you look at the price of silver, I mean, look at that. Silver sixteen dollars, and then you look at gold. Um, four hundred fifty-eight. Yeah, you know, right, right. So yeah, they kind of move the same. 
But uh, in some cases, they don't always move the same, but they are mostly uh, relatively uh, the same. That's all I can say. So expect gold and silver to buy. Yeah, buy. So let's look at, so who trades US 30? That's what I want to know. Who trades US 30 and GER 30? All right, let's look at US 30. All right. <laughs> Both, okay. All right. Well, yesterday, so I meant to draw a pattern. Um, oh, it's one of your faves. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, Gertrude. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but what does this look like to y'all? A buy or a sell? Hmm? Or you think it's going to continue to go up? Because I meant to draw this out, but for some reason it didn't. But before I look at the chat, see what y'all say. I want to let you know that. I mean, delete it. But GR30 and US30, I drew bearish butterflies for both of them. And the reason I drew that was because it's at the t it is at the peak. Yeah, GR30 kind of, to me, it moves better than US30. US30 is Trump. No, I'm playing. I don't know. <laughs> US30 is something else, though. But um, so the reason I drew a bearish butterfly for GR30 and UR30 was because um, um, they're at the top. Even if you look all the way back to where it started, right? These companies, these 30 companies started. It hasn't reached the top until 2019. And it's continuing and continuing and continuing. So there is no, let's look to, you know, to the left of price. Let's look right to the back to the left of it and see where it's going to go next we don't know because it's at its very top right now there is no support and resistance right it's like when you reach you just continue into space right so be very 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 careful when trading gr30 and us30 because it is at the top and we don't know where it's going to go next and I don't think analysts know either. So just be very, very, very aware. Also, these other pairs like the SPX 500. Be aware, like this right here. Be aware, right? NAS 100. No, no. Uh, GPN 225. Look at these, right? The, you know, they're at their peak. They're at their top. Frankfurt 40, um, you know, whatever the heck this pair is, EUSTX 500. I swear, some people just be naming these pairs, and I'm like, you can't come up with a better name. <laughs> do you know? Do I know how far I can go down? Um, you know what? I couldn't tell you because these pairs have such a defined, um trend like their trends are so good do you do y'all do you kind of know where i'm going going at it's not like a choppy pattern with these um currencies right or these indices they have like a, a a flowing um they have like a flowing pattern with them so with it being with the indice being so flourish I guess you can say, I really don't, I really can't tell you. You just have to kind of analyze it for yourself because this ad is high. Like it, I don't know, it could drop to the to the last day that it was, you know, look at it. When you, let's look at it on the, on the day, right? Let's look at it on the week, right? Look at that. Well, it actually hasn't gotten to as high as yet. It's almost there, right? This was the highest. Prices right here. Actually, it probably it probably did before the market had closed out. 
right? This was the highest. And I'm sure it got there, right? Because it's right below it. But to tell you if it, you know, when it's going to drop, you know, I really can't, can't, uh, can't, I really don't know. I really don't know. That's why I say be careful because it can drop any any day. And I am i don't know news. I have to do my research on it because uh, with those 30 companies, there's so much, so much news tied into those 30 companies. So it's hard to know which direction it's going to go. In. So let's look at NZD JPY. All right, enough of the indices. NZD JPY. If I can ever find it. All right. Cool. So, um, yeah, and then I, I mean, they've already made their move too. So, right. That was a, also, you look for these. You see how I, so I just don't drop these patterns just to draw, draw them up. So there's a correlate, there is a way to do them. So look at this right here. This is a hammer, bearish hammer, right? This is not quite a morning star, but very close. And this right here is a long bullish, I mean, bearish hammer. And this right here, similar to a morning star where uh you know morning stars aren't perfect and what a morning star is you have a you know a sale candle and a buy candle or vice versa you have a buy candle and a sale candle right so usually what happens is it does the opposite right so the morning star is telling you that it is about to um change directions right so I'm not going to go too much into it because you don't really need it. I don't think you do. But yeah. So NZDJPY, I think it has already made its move. Just be careful. Right? It made that quick buy, but it could possibly um, go even farther than expected, right? But first it has to, you know, get past these, right? So you got one, two, three bounced off right that's how the market moves in threes one two bounced off right or it could possibly do it again one two bounce you know continue down right but just but if it goes beyond this uh trend line i mean uh support if it goes beyond that support uh it could very well fall I don't know, um, somewhere either right here or if it continue down even further, all right? Oh, y'all also could be taking screenshots of this. I mean, if it's gonna help you next week. So boom, that's NCD JPY. All right, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, five more pairs. I'm telling you, we will get through this. Five more pairs, and I'll let you go. All right. Because it is cold out here. Euro NZD. All right. Already made its move for that sale. All right. See? Be, be cognizant of how I put these. All right. Morning star. Bullish hammer. Right. Or bearish hammer. Bearish. Bull, yeah, bearish. And then morning star right here, most definitely morning star right here. Uh, yeah. So Euro NZD has already kind of made it. Well, but what it could do is actually I can do this. So we'll put it at the top right about here. So yeah. Boom. And there we go. And we'll also do. Well, let's see if we can extend it out. Um, let's see. Nope, that, that was the highest. Okay. Uh, see all that consolidation right here and all this clear space down here. Hmm? 
all this clear space. It's not a lot of clear space, but, right. And this itself was a pattern, right? You see that pattern? X, A, B, C, D, right? You see this, this, this long pattern right here, right? All right. So, we can, let's, yeah, we can continue. We'll see. Yeah, NZD is, your NZD isn't finished just yet, right? Just yet. So, it could continue down, right? All right. Let's look at EuroCAD. EuroCAD. I wish y'all could be my eyes, but it's because because I can't uh, I can't see these pairs. Y'all see Eurocat? Right. Euro AUD. Um, let me know if y'all can find these pairs. So I can't find EuroCAD. All right, maybe you found it. Somebody found it. Just on the Euro NZD. Now let me find Euro NZD now. Oh man, thank you. All right, thanks. Thanks, thank you all. All right, now let's look at this. Why is it my patterns? My patterns showing up. All right, so um. Guess we'll just have to go old school on this one, right? I'm just gonna have to draw it out. Where y'all want paper? So, expect it to continue in a cell because it's it is a M. Ah, no, it's not. It's a W. But before that happens, look at it like this. Actually, let me let me exit that. Can I? Ah, nope. That's not what I meant to put. Give me a second. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's do it like this. This, no, no. Yes, perfect. This right here, right? So expect Euro NZD to kind of continue in the buy. Continue in a buy for our the day. Yeah. Yep. It's going to put a support right here. Actually, we'll move it like right. Yeah, we'll move right here, right? ECAD. Yeah, ECAD. ECAD. Um, yeah, it's going to pull back just a little bit. Um, ECAD. Right, it's going to respect this line just, you know, I don't know if it's going to be, you know, for days or for a few hours, but ECAT is going to continue in a buy, but this is, I wasn't finished yet, right? You can also see it continue, continuing, and then doing something like that, right? That, that is, you know, where you can see uh, ECAT going, right? Which it it is not showing a strong trend. Ooh, okay, what I got going on here? All right. But just be kind of aware of ECAT, right? Because it hit it once right here. It hit it, you know, twice right here. And usually, what it does. So we put a resistance at this very top. Not going to be perfect. Just putting it somewhere, right? Let it create that W first right let it create that w first all right continue into that w and then also and then pushing downward all right just give it some time ecat don't really so i don't really trade ecat i don't trade 
AUD. Okay, there's no, nothing happens in Australia. Okay, nothing happens in Australia. Nothing. Nothing happens in Canada, other than free medical insurance and other stuff. There's nothing. Nothing really happens. I know y'all can't see me because it's dark outside. Um, but the reason people trade GU is because there's nothing that. Okay, yeah, you have Great Britain, which you have Brexit. Okay, yeah, that's controversy. But you have U.S. You have the United States. What other country besides the United States has everything going on? I mean, everything. I mean, from everything, right? Unless you're talking about a Japanese yen and then them people. But enough about that. So let's go to CHFJPY. All right. Help me find CHFJPY. CHF. Nope. These are. All right. Let's see. That. All right. Here we go. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, that's not it. CHFJPY. Here we go. Okay. All right. Let's look at this. So, for the four hour, CHFJPY. Already made it to move. Give it some time to correct itself. Right. So in order to kind of figure out where the market is uh, going, you do have to look at Forex Factory. Right. You do have to look at it. Because this right here, even though I put, uh, you know, what is this? A uh, bullish Gartley own here right and which it did respect it right give it give it this buy right but it, then it pushed down into a sale and by the looks of this candle it doesn't look like it's ready to buy again it looks like it's ready to sell right just by the looks of this uh bearish candle and also this morning star right here not perfect but you know just be on the lookout. Uh, let's look at the week, right? Okay. Mm. Trying to think. Trying to think. But like, it's, it's, so right now it's doing a consolidate. It's through a consolidation period, right? This right above here. So let it clear. I know I've been focusing on the four hour, but I tell you, you can also use this on the 15 minute as well. You know, any, right, any, see? So this is what it looks like on the 15 minute, all these pips, right? Uh, right, and I mean, if you wanna go further, you can even go to the five minute, right? All that. Yeah, CHF, JPY already made its move. So I don't know. I might just post these in, you know, the Dirty 30 group chat or somewhere where y'all can actually access these, you know, when I draw them out. Something like that. Um, we did AUD CAD. Am I right? Or were we talking about Euro CAD? Okay, we're talking about ECAD. Okay, let's talk about AUD CAD. Perfect. This is the one I. Oh, we already went over. Oh, never mind. All right. And then did we talk about G Chief? Yeah, I think we already talked about D Chief. There is. There's so much. To, I'm telling you, when I went and I drew up these, like, I'm so exhausted. Like I'm so exhausted. All right, let's look at G Chief, and then we'll, you know, that'd be it. G Chief. I'm sure I already looked at that. Yeah, I already did G T G too. So yeah. All right. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> that is it. Y'all have any questions? I told myself that I would keep this um short, but here we are an hour later. I'm sure I missed the football game by now. I don't even know who's winning. But yeah, just uh pay attention to, to those what I called. Um uh, and you should be all right. If you have any more questions, just uh, message me on Telegram. So I'm going to put my e Telegram username. I 
B-W-H-I-T. I think that's me. I'm sure you'll find me on Facebook. It's not hard. I'm everywhere now. So, yeah. So, uh, just reach out to me if you have, like, any questions. Or if you need to bounce ideas off of me, I would uh, more than happy to uh, do so. Studying the candlestick trading Bible will be for moments. Yeah. And you can actually go to um, so Investopedia, right? I, I, I do like that site. There's many sites out there, and they pretty much tell you the same thing. Um, that's how I learned harmonic patterns. Actually, when I first started um, on Marcus Live, I was doing the, um, there was an automated system called the, uh, Harmonic scanner, right? the harmonic scanner is when I first started and it would, you know, draw these harmonic patterns for you automatically. And I started doing these things on my own and I, you know, became profitable, prof profitable off of them. And I, you know, just kept with it. And here I am now. So, I mean, everything takes time. So just be aware of that. Uh, yeah. I, when I tell the, my close friends, we're going to make this money, or two years, or how you know, however, you know, there's money to be made out there. They still have the harmonic scanner, really? Oh my god! I joined three years ago. <laughs> I, and you can also use that harmonic scanner, right? Because it gives you the stop losses as well. I don't really give you the stop losses. I mean, I could. I mean, all you do is put it, you know, 10, 15 pips. I would say, you know, at the very top, that's what. That's how I would do mine, right? Um, yeah, so just study these harmonics. And if, you know, I didn't have the moving averages on here as well, but I also teach them with the moving averages. I just didn't cover it today. Uh, probably next class, I'll teach the, you know, patterns with the um, uh, the moving averages, like the 100 and the 50, because you, long story short, I love moving averages. There we go, right? Especially with harmonic patterns, because I need to know where they are going to be going, right? That's where I need to be knowing. Um... If y'all don't have any more questions, it was nice teaching because I haven't taught this class in weeks. So, uh, yeah. I hope that everybody has a good trading week and everybody needs to be profitable. Oh, let me show y'all something. So, I'm not going to cover this again, but for the Forex Factory, there is money to be made. And when I, when I tell you there's money to be made, you listen here, all right? You listen because look at this. Monday, nobody, okay, let me tell you, nobody really makes money on Monday because, you know, Monday is just a slow day for everybody. I mean, it's a holiday. And you see all these pairs? I mean, all, you see all these pairs. GBP, Bank Holiday, you know, USD, NZD, JPY, AUD, right? And even Tuesday. Right? So there's money to be made and everybody should make something. So there should be no excuses, right? No excuses. All right. I will talk to y'all later. So it'll be probably next week we'll have this class around the same time. Uh, so enjoy your weekend, your three day weekend. I want to enjoy mine. And y'all have a great rest of your night. All right, that was it.